I'm Gary Towin. I'm a composer and theatre director, and this week I've been working on Vox Pop, which is my verbatim musical exploring the chaos of politics over the past few years and how people feel about it. I was looking to try a verbatim musical because I'd seen and I'd worked on a production of London Road, the university a few years before, and I thought, oh, I'd always like to try that, which is the technique of listening to the audio of an interviewee and trying to copy the exact melody, pitch and rhythm of their speaking. I tried to find a subject, someone who was kind of speaking that I could turn into song. The first person who came to my mind was Brenda from Bristol, uh, who in 2017 on the BBC News, she was the famous lady who went, you're joking, not another one. And uh, there was just something so musical about the way she said it that I really enjoyed making this song. And then suddenly this idea of vox pop um, which is the tactical term for those kind of interviews on the street with someone for the news came but that in Latin vox populi means voice of the people and so I guess I would just suddenly thought okay there might be something here and it was also just then my way of responding to 2019 Brexit was three years in by this point after the referendum Theresa May was out Boris Johnson was in Supreme Court all that kind of stuff was going on and I knew something was in the air something was going to happen so the idea for vox pop was born and I thought okay Something's going to happen, either an election or a referendum, something's going to happen and I want to try and capture it. And the general election came and so I thought, okay, I should give this a go. And I decided to go back home to Cardiff and I started interviewing people. Rather confused. It's a very confusing picture. It's very confusing. Everybody's totally confused by it. So confused. Very confusing. I get so confused about it all. Get like it's all politics, politics, politics. Oh, 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 as soon as you like turn on the television or the radio, it's a Brexit, Brexit. Uh, so I just turn it off. I knew there was going to be strong opinions um, across the board. Um, and people were obviously tired of Brexit. They were tired of everything else. And so many songs just presented themselves to me because it was clear that everyone was feeling the same about this or they were feeling divided about that. Um, but one thing that did surprise me was how being in Cardiff, um, how divided people were about the Welsh language and just Welshness in general was far more complicated than I thought and was just as divisive as Brexit really. And then that just opened up a whole new terrain. Um, and the past two years of going through it has definitely changed my relationship with my Welshness. You go to the cash point and it's all in Welsh and you think, no, it's not all in Welsh, you've got a choice. Oh, you ring 101 and you're on the phone for you four minutes. You have a choice of English or Welsh. But the Welsh comes first and I haven't got a clue no, what they're saying. You have a choice you, of Welsh or you English. you one, I'm telling you now, it's three So minutes. this week, I've had the opportunity to actually hear some of the songs I've written with eight singers um, who are all fantastic. So in terms of the next steps, I think I, re I really want to get it now to some kind of production stage, um, whatever that is. But I think definitely starting in Wales because the show is, is all about Wales coming to terms with its identity, I think. And... So it's very important it starts there. 